Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for March the 4th through March the 10th. And listen, first of all, I want, if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and I really hope you enjoy these readings and that you'll come back. And if you are returning, thank you. You just bring joy to my heart. Thank you. Um, thank you for the shares, likes and comments. And listen, this week is huge astrologically. I'm going to make the horoscope readings very short, as short as possible. And um, so that we can go straight into uh, your card reading. I have been listening to you guys. <laughs> um, but I just want to say what's what's really happening, because I don't want to repeat myself on every video, on every um, horoscope, you know zodiac sign. Uranus is moving into Taurus and it will be there um, and it's moving into Taurus on Wednesday uh, March the 6th and it will be there until the year 2026. It's huge. It's going to be there for seven years. This is a huge shift, a paradigm shift and, and it depends how it affects you as to where uh, which area of your natal chart it moves into. Um, so we will touch on that in the horoscopes. But I, I just want to say Taurus is about money. It's about, you know, security. It's about banks. Uranus is the sudden happenings. It's like thunder and lightning. It shakes the status quo up. It's about revolution. It's about innovation. It's the higher mind, science. Um, really some, inc we will we will definitely make some huge um, uh, innovative steps forward in farming, in um, food production, in uh, in cleaning the planet, clearing it up. And also this is about equality, right? So um, it's really interesting. I've uh, we're already seeing um, things that are happening and playing out on the political field. This is not a political channel, so I won't go into it. But, you know, um, we are moving in a more progressive um, direction. Let's put it that way. Um, so that's exciting. Now, on Tuesday, it is Pancake Tuesday. That's what we call it in England. It's Shrove Tuesday here. Wednesday's Ash uh, Wednesday, we also have a new moon in Pisces on Wednesday too. So there's huge things going on planetarily that will affect us. Um, and what else? On Friday, it's Women's Day. So happy Women's Day. Happy Pancake Day. I remember my mum used to make these lovely pancakes, not liking, not like American pancakes. They don't like American pancakes. They like cakes, right? Pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose. But in England, they're more like crepes, you know, very thin and mm, delicious. I used to love coming home from school and having uh, pancakes for tea, as we say in England. That means dinner. What's for tea, mum? Oh, pancakes. I can't wait. <laughs> anyway, guys, without further ado, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello Virgo and welcome to your reading for uh, March the 4th through March the 10th and I know in the intro I mentioned Uranus uh, moving into Taurus and it is moving into your house of adventure. Darling things are moving and shaking. You are this is also a house of spirituality so you may change the way your belief system could change even and you could um, this is about travel. It's about um, higher learning. You could study something new. Um, you know, you might be considering going back to school or studying something that you've never studied but kind of always wanted to, you know. Could, you could be taking up hobbies if you're older. Um, this is an exciting time for you. Things are moving and shaking and... Um, and it's all about adventure for you. Um, there's been, it's been difficult because it's been in your house of transformation. So things have changed a lot for you over the last, well, I would say decade, maybe. Um, here we go. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> 
so interesting um and then we have don't forget we have the new moon darling in uh pisces moving into pisces on the same day it's really a good time to start something brand new um something exciting and adventurous darling perhaps you want to plan a, a long a long um trip somewhere far away the uh this is long distance travel um the area in which uranus has um, moved into so this is exciting you might go on a long journey or a far off journey but you know some of you are definitely looking at um perhaps different belief systems the interest in the occult or the mysticism you know this tarot you know astrology um you know wiccan anything like that okay let's clarify the five of swords for uh ah oh, there you go and let's clarify okay. oh darling everything wants to come out here Oh, but I'm going to do that. That's lovely. That fell out. And let's clarify the eight of cups. Virgo, please. There you go. Okay, so the first card out for you is the five of swords. This is saying that you are perhaps in an argument with somebody or a conflict. There's a conflict going on. And sometimes this conflict is... You stay in this argument just to save face sometimes, just because you don't want to be proven wrong. Um, and this is the kind of argument that you may have been in um, or you may be in. Uh, you may have some conflict going on and it could be it could be with a family member. It could be with, you know, a friend. It could be a lover. Um, you know, there's no telling who it is. This is saying that you need to kind of um, look at your limitations and sometimes the strength in letting the other person win, you know, or dropping the sword and just walking away. Because this kind of uh, conflict can end in humiliation for the loser if you kind of keep, keep it up. So sometimes it's best to just like cut your losses. And, and when you cut your losses, and that's exactly what I'm getting, because you've got the seven of pentacles clarifying it. The seven of pentacles is reassess the situation. You have to kind of look at the, you know, the uh, checks and balances, if you will, um, is, you know, look, sometimes cut your losses and walk away is the best thing to do in this conflict because you lose more by staying in it and you know you perhaps don't want to walk away because you don't want to lose face but by not walking away um you could you risk the possibility of losing you know the other person and losing face really being humiliated in the uh process so take a look at why you got into this fight what this fight is about is it really worth fighting over um and sometimes it's like just let it go it's not worth it it's it's causing you more aggravation and pain by being in it so sometimes there's strength in saying you know what i'm sorry you're right i was wrong you know and i know that's really difficult to do at times um and i want to make a joke because you know my sister's <laughs> Right? It's difficult to say that I was right and you were wrong. <laughs> we're not in a conflict. Are we? <laughs> no, no. Not yet. <laughs> so, anyway, this is... Um, <laughs> I nearly said something, oh, but I'm not. Anyway, so this is about really looking at the situation, um, weighing the pros and cons and, and walking away um, if need be. Now, the next card you have is the Queen of Wands, darling. She's got it all. She's the hostess with the mostest. She's the woman that has, um, she's the executive that's got the husband, the children, like everything. She can do everything. And it's one of those women that, you know, you're like, how does she do that? <laughs> how does she get that together? you know <laughs> but this is also about self-esteem and don't underestimate yourself you too can do it all um 
Virgo. So this is definitely looking at your self-esteem. And I feel that this is, look, these are, this is your, this is a wishes come true card. This is the nine of cups. This is like, you're almost at the finish line. This is things are really working out. Um, and you can see the, um, you can see the fruits of your labor. You can see the, um, you can see the positivity in whatever you're doing. You can see the payoff um, and you're feeling really content. So this is passion and um, don't underestimate yourself and really uh, know that you can do it. And this is about you definitely seeing that you can do it. You can kind of, this is almost being at the finish line and saying, oh, wow, that, I really can. It's acknowledging and seeing it and feeling um, fulfilled almost, right? Now, what's juxtaposed to that, which makes me think it's more about Uranus um, going into Taurus, is you've got the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups is saying that you want something more meaningful out of life. So maybe you're walking away from a situation um, that's not working for you anymore. And you can now kind of see uh, the payoff and the possibility of you doing it. And it's going to be good for you. Um, maybe you need to walk away from this argument. Uh, for some of you, it's, you know, it's a situation that you have to walk away from. And you've been in, you you've haven't been able to walk away because you've been in fear of not thinking that you can... Uh, you can survive or you're going to be happy if you do. But this is saying you um, you are going to be happy. Um, this is don't forget, guys, this is a general reading. Um, so this is not you know, this is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, there's a card up here. You can click up here and that that little eye at the top on on the, um, right there and it'll take you to my website now. The Eight of Cups is like walking away because you want a more meaningful life. And clarifying it is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is telling me that it's... Look, this isn't something that you have just thought up of. This is something you've been contemplating for a long time, Virgo. It's not a new thing thought. It's not a new concept. This is something that you have mulled over, that you have looked at, that you have um, worked out every scenario that you can think of. You've analyzed it because, you know, your key words are I analyze. So you've looked at all the aspects of this uh, kind of decision. And, and, I, and I think that you're coming to a place where you think that you can and and the cards are saying you can <laughs> um and i think that this uranus moving into taurus is going to be the um the energy that's going to shake you up and um and get you moving in the direction that you want to go um because you're you're not you're not totally happy where you're at right now so there's something that you need to change and um, and when you do, you first of all, don't underestimate yourself. You can change this. And uh, secondly, it's going to be a good thing. Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment below. Um, you know, listen, I always interact with people who comment. So, you know, that's what I'm here for. It really feeds my soul to to uh, interact with you guys. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. So um, I love you all and I'll see you next week.